Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, happy to see so many people uh, attending this program. And thank you, Digital India, for the invite. Actually, I'm Dr. Sabaratnam. I am an additional professor in the Department of Endocrine and Breast Surgery at SGPGIMS Lucknow. Thank you again. And then coming, breast cancer is curable, and breast health begins with you. That means us and with the patient. What you need to know about breast cancer and what is the scenario of breast cancer at present in India and why breast self-examination is still a very good option in India. These are the things we will deal about today. So breast cancer is a major health problem worldwide. According to WHO, a woman dies of breast cancer somewhere in the world every minute, more worse than this COVID, okay? And breast cancer is the most common malignancy among women worldwide. And you see this map where pink is breast cancer except some isolated orange areas the world is painted pink that means breast cancer is the most common cancer worldwide and every country suffers and you see India we are not in like US but still we are uh, like 22 the incidence per 1 lakh woman is 26 to 50. It's not very low in India. And if you think India and China, where we have the top two, uh, top most populous countries in the world, top two populous countries in the world, then the sheer numbers will outnumber all other countries. So this is also very important again. So India is also not like we are uh, immune or something like that. We also have because of the sheer population, large number of breast cancer patients. And if you see the breast cancer estimate worldwide and the deaths which occur due to breast cancer, breast cancer will remain number one. More developed as well as the dev less developed countries as well. So in if medical students are there, we have read in Park and Park in community medicine, all these what are the epidemiology of breast cancer and most importantly breast cancer is a i will not say it's a like easily examinable part mm? a woman if she does a breast self examination she can palpate a lump 1 cm to 2 cm then the thing is once if you pick up a woman at an early stage of breast cancer the chances of cure remains very high and breast cancer, coming to breast cancer again in India, this is from South Asian Journal of Cancer, you see that breast cancer has ranked number one cancer among Indian females. And it accounts for 25% of all cancers. That is 1.6 million new case, cancer cases per year. And age adjusted rate as high as 25.8 per 1 lakh woman. And mortality is also very, very high. Indian women are shy. They do not, uh, they do not, consult a doctor at the initial stage itself. India has got a lot of problems which I will come but so we have to encourage them to do breast self-examination, consult a physician as soon as she detects a lump and mortality is also high 30, 12 to 13 per 1 lakh woman. So what are the things in India we have? India is a diverse country. You know ethnic, cultural, religious, economic and infrastructural differences are there heterogeneous epidemiology, demography and care. We, we at present do not have a central registry even though now ICMR is making a registry which is a very good move and there is no uniform protocols ac across India whereas if you do go to some European countries they have throughout their country a specific protocol and we have varying standards. We have the most ba basic hospital care to world class and if the patient presents late the care is compromised these are the problems and if you see in India the urban areas are affected more uh, rather than the rural areas but you you can see the density now it's not like before this more than 200 more than 20 areas are very very high especially in the uh, urban population and if you come to the cities, major cities they call, 
like Mumbai, Bangalore, Chennai, Trivandabram, Dibrugad, Gauhati and Chandigarh, you see that like uh, somewhere you can find in urban areas two peaks, actually one between 30 to 34, the other between uh, 50 to 54, lifestyle changes are there and like previously young, young woman comes with a breast lump, you say there's like very less chances of breast cancer, no, no, that's a big no. We, in our institute, we see a lot of youngsters and I have operated a girl around 15 years of age with breast cancer, IED is in infiltrating rectal carcinoma and this year itself I have operated around 15 women less than 20 years of age. So the epidemiology is changing a little bit and yeah, like other uh, developed countries, they have screening, ultrasound screening, and they are uh, trying to reduce their burden of breast cancer. But in India, like, uh, are we, are the, is the breast cancer burden reducing over time? It's not. It's, uh, it's increasing, actually. And, uh, like, this is the projection in 2030, actually. And this is what I said actually, incidence of breast cancer in India has increased among women in their 30s and 40s uh, compared to older women. What is the problem uh, with breast cancer in the young? It's a very aggressive breast cancer. Okay, in older women it's a hormonal positive breast cancer. In younger women and in India the major problem is 30% of these breast cancers are triple negative and that means like the burden on the medical oncology and the surgical departments and the radiation oncology departments will be very high. And <clears throat> cancer has become more aggressive in the younger woman and breast cancer cases have been increasing in the past decade due to urbanization. And the risk increases as a woman has her first child after turning 30. And <clears throat> the India versus rest of the world, if you see, the peak incidence is uh, like around 41 to 50 years. The median age of diagnosis of cancer of the breast in US is 61 years. And majority of patient, Indian patients have a higher tumor grade, advanced stage, than when compared to US. The onset is lower by a decade. That is very, very important. These are all productive age group, actually. Like uh, these productive uh, women in this productive age group suffer from breast cancer, the entire family suffers. We have to understand this phenomenon most importantly. And this again, I, as I said, uh, like, uh, if you see the breast cancer incidence among, like, uh, presently and 25 years back, you see this, 40 to 50, it's increasing, 30 to 40, it's increasing, whereas 60 plus, it's decreasing. And the screening, actually, like, uh, like we do not have an ultrasound or a mammography based screening and rising incidence is there, late stage of diagnosis, high uh, disease specific mortality, significant health costs. So actually we need to have a strategy for early detection including screening, that is very important. And what are the screening modalities usually used? Like it's a screening mammography and once the mammography diagnoses something, it's known as diagnostic mammography. Once you do a screening mammography, diagnose a lump and then you do a mammography specifically for that lump, that is diagnostic mammography. And uh, for lesion uh, dense breast, it, it doesn't detect well. So we have to characterize these dense breasts using ultrasound. And health education, like even among doctors, the knowledge, among, knowledge about breast self-examination is very poor. And uh, general public also, doesn't understand the uh, impact of breast cancer and we have alternate systems of medicine with some kind of uh, delay in referral and five year cancer survival rate is 90.2 in US whereas in India it's 66.1 now you can understand where we stand and what are current challenges late stage at presentation high proportion of patients with high grade triple negative disease her two positive disease, minimum standard of evaluation and treatment. Most patients, when they present in a tertiary referral center, already they have done a lumpectomy, margin status not known, or a post-incisional biopsy, the incision would have been placed awkwardly so that breast conservation becomes very difficult. 
and we also have lack of resources. So what is the main strategy for us? To be aware, all should be aware about the breast cancer incidence, the way it presents and how we can prevent patients pre presenting at late stage as of today. So we have to make our patients and our uh, uh, the patients relatives aware of breast cancer. So what is the importance of breast self-examination? It's a tool in it which, which can be a very good tool in India. So it's like we have to emphasize that they have to do it themselves. And uh, I will talk about 10 slides of breast self-examination. This is very important. Breast self-examination is a screening method in an attempt to detect breast cancer early. In India, it has a very good role. The method involves the woman herself looking at and feeling each breast for possible lumps, distortion or swelling. So actually we have to tell the woman that like they are their own doctors and see step one is to stand in front of the mirror, look at the contour of the breast, whether any puckering, any skin changes, what are the level of the nipple and whether any uh, edema is there, arms are both equal. Then the uh, second step is to raise the arms above the head. This will make the inframammary tumors and the inframammary lesions more prominent. And uh, where, how to palpate us like uh, not with the pulp of the fingers, not with the tip. We cannot hold the tip. And then preferably patient lies down with the hand above the head and palpates with the opposite hand. And then while taking bath you can raise and palpate. Why this slide we put us in India you might have a joint family where so many members live in the same house and might not have space to do breast self-examination. This also we should. So we in that scenario we can tell them that they can examine their breast at while taking bath. So actually, and we have to tell them where they should see. Uh, it's a scientific approach to breast self-examination. So we should tell them also, like, interestingly, breast tumors are uh, most commonly found in the upper outer quadrant and in the upper inner quadrant and in the just below the nipple. So uh, the area behind the nipple and the upper outer quadrant lodges the maximum number of tumors. At least these two areas, if the woman examines, then we will detect maximum number of tumors. So this scientific aspect has to be taught also. Like you have to examine all quadrants, but in the upper outer quadrant and just below the nipple is the most vulnerable area for breast cancer. So the woman examines those things most. So here you see this is a 34 percentage here and 41. Maximum tumors occur in this plane actually. So that we have to tell them. And breast self-examinations are an option for all women beginning by age 20. And uh, there is, uh, if they start examining, they become breast aware, how their breast contour looks, what is their thing, and then the chances of finding a tumor is more. When we have to do a breast self-examination, like if you are attained menopause, then you can fix a date like fifth of every month, something like that. If you are still menstruating, then a week after your periods, when breasts are not swollen and tender, we can ask the woman to do a breast self-examination. What are the danger signs? A lump or a thickening that feels different from rest of the breast, that's a danger sign. When the nipple becomes pulled in or changes in shape, that's a danger sign actually. And a change in skin te texture such as dimpling, that's a danger sign. And Discharge from the nipple, okay, but the most common cause of blood discharge from nipple is not breast cancer that we also have to be aware. A rash or tenderness on the skin around the nipple, that's a danger sign. And swelling in, this is an axillary lymph node, axillary swelling and a clavicular, infraclavicular or a supraclavicular lymphadenopathy and a axillary lymphadenopathy, that's a danger sign. So I will show you some representative cases before we wind up. See, this lady, you see, uh, she is elderly. It's almost fungating tumor, big tumor involving the breast. And you see a thyroid cancer also. So this thyroid cancer will not 
do much when compared to breast. But breast cancer, once it fungates, the quality of life becomes very difficult for her to live. And double malignancies are common in elderly. Elderly geriatric care is very, very important. And how we take care of our elderly people. And this is one patient which I treated, responded to chemo. But you, when she presented, you see entire breast was necrosed because of the tumor. And how can, uh, there was nobody going near her. We, we treated with chemotherapy, it responded. Then we did uh, MRM and patient is having a good quality of life. So we have, we have to understand that there is increasing incidence of breast cancer in younger age groups rising number of breast cancer patients in India, late presentation decreases the long-term survival, there is a lack of awareness and screening, and there is aggressive cancers in the young. These are the, our problems. So what we did, we, uh, like I can talk about uh, like um, many things, but we also tried a solu solution. Here you can see three models. This is a British model, this is a Germany model, and this is an Indian model we made. These are all mannequin models. And uh, this model has got a normal breast, a breast with fibroadenoma and breast cancer. Again, uh, normal breast and breast cancer. Indian model also has got a normal breast and a breast cancer. So uh, we teach our um, nursing students and all. We have gone to, uh, we have done a study where we have taught around 1,000 college girls uh, in all degree colleges uh, how a tumor will look. Because in India, the awareness about breast, breast awareness itself is lacking. So we have to train them with the models. So they found it useful and we have published three this. Actually, we have to explain. The surgeon has to explain how these models and which one is normal, which one has got, this one has got cancer and this one has got a fibroadenoma and train them to feel uh, how these cancers will. And that will improve our breast self-examination rates as well. So thank you once again for this invite. I think with this, I will finish. Breast self-examination self in long run can help in preventing breast cancer. Thank you once again. And if at all, if anybody, if, if some people are hearing, some students are hearing, make sure that you teach your uh, uh, colleagues and family members the importance of breast self-examination. Thank you, Jai.